Hi, Libras. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammal and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading. Today, I'm going to ask spirit, how do they feel? What is your person thinking and feeling? Where is this connection headed? What guidance spirit has for you? Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to anybody that's new. Spirit, if you could please share with me any messages of guidance that you have for anyone who has found this message today. This is for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watcher. Welcome. Let's see what we have. I am listening for you now. My heart is on the line. Absolutely. Sometimes you, we just put ourselves out there. You know, we risk, we risk falling in love. We risk getting hurt. So our heart is on the line. I have integrity. Trust yourself first. Okay. What's most important to you, your integrity, your self-esteem, your worth, your value, you know, that comes first. Um, a blessing in disguise. Somebody, sometimes I always say that sometimes we remove someone from our life because spirit has something better for you that somebody comes forward because of a chain of events and you look back and you say, well, that was a blessing. That was a, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. So your heart is on the line and then watch very soon, almost a feeling of you're going to know the answers very soon. Let's get one more of these. And then I have a proposition. Is this person ready to propose? Is this something that's going to turn into a long-term commitment. Sometimes we walk away from somebody. Yeah, bottom of my deck, I have a promise. I have a promise. You could have somebody that's thinking about a future. You could have somebody that is, you know, wondering, is this the person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with? Is this the person that, that I really want to be with? So I've got some kind of promise coming into me here. And we are going to find out what that means. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to anybody that's new. If you're new to my channel, so grateful Spirit has guided you here today. Um, please remember to hit that like button. If there's anything about this video that you like, the cards, my time, Spirit's messages, I appreciate it. And thank you always for your comments. Spirit, tell me about this um, promise. A promise of love. How about a promise of love? Some of you don't want to be married. I know that, but a lot of you would like that. But how about just a promise of love? I have a hanged man. I've been waiting. Ace of Wands. The star, soulmate connection. I have a page of wands coming into me. So I have this passion. Look at this new sparks. Sparks are flying. First, you know, first feelings are, are sparks. And I've been waiting for this soulmate energy to come into my life and um, divine timing even. Maybe I was very patient and I prayed a lot and I manifested a lot and I did all the right things. And now you've got someone that's come into your energy that I think is very, very excited about you. And we've got some good news here. I've got some Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. I want to build. I, I love this card. This is one of my favorite cards. I have a lot of decks for those of you that watch me. But I just love the balance in this Nine of Pentacles. I love the, 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 the uh, key words they're sharing with me is happy home, traditional roles, very stable, very secure, King of Cups, unconditional love, and this feeling of, building upon something. I want to build upon this love. I want this love to grow as much as you do. So as far as how do they feel, obviously they're they're feeling like this is growing. This is this is moving in the direction of I want to be with you or I want to be committed to you. And um you know, it, it, I, I always want a committed love. I don't want to waste my time or yours and I want to be with somebody that that is seeing the same thing or feeling the same way. Spirit, what do you have for us? Your voice is so sexy. I want to hear you tell me what you want me to do with you next. So obviously there's a physical attraction in this connection. I catch myself imagining our lives live together and how it would all work out. I know you would treat me like a king or a queen. So this feeling of I'm already daydreaming about a future, you know, it's a... 
Um, I daydream about us, um, about our future together. Um, and not everybody you feel that way. You could be dating somebody and you have no idea what your future holds. And then you could be dating somebody that you really want to see them in your future. You really could imagine your lives together and what it would look like, the kind of home that you would have or traveling or uh, the kinds of activities you would have in your life. Your two families becoming one. That's how that's coming into me. You are lovely from head to toe. Somebody who is very attracted to you, but it also feels like inside and out. They love you for who you are and all that you have to offer. You turn me on in unexpected ways and at unexpected times. So it could be just the little things, you know, it's not all about, um, you know, a physical attraction or jumping into bed with somebody. It could be somebody the way that they touch your arm or they put their arm around your waist or the way that they grab your hand when you're walking across a parking lot or uh, the eye contact that they give you in a room full of people that's like your own private um, you know, vocabulary. So there is a sense of we have our own little thing going and it's very, very special. You're the most beautiful soul I've ever known. It blows my mind you could love me. So how lucky am I is how I, it just came into me. You know, how lucky am I that I found you and that you're into me and that you are um, making me feel amazing, something like that. So this person's feeling pretty good. When we connect sexually, sometimes it's so intense. I run because I feel myself falling deeper in love. So there's this fear of is this all going to just like blow up in my face or am I going to wake up tomorrow and this is all going to go away somehow? So I think that's normal. I feel that sometimes when we start to really become vulnerable, we do have that little bit of fear of I don't want this to go away. I do love you and I want to spend time with you. That just came into me as I, I wish that I had more time with you. I wish that either I didn't have to work all the time or I didn't have so many outside responsibilities. I feel like time is an issue. Time is um, a struggle, Spirit just said, that that's something that we have to work on, that's something that we have to um, put each other first or make more quality time for each other. So that might be something that you're both working on, that we really try to adjust our schedules or be more flexible um, to be with each other. Spirit, what else do you want us to know about our person? I feel your pain more than you know. I'm very empathic about uh, what is going on in your life or how about I want to be there for you. I want to understand your pain. I want to feel it and I, I want you to understand that I'm in there with you. You know, I want... I want you to help me with my pain and I want you to help me with your pain. So I like this kind of, it's not all just perfect. It's not all, everything is just, you know, butterflies and bunnies. It's that there's painful times in our lives and I will share those with you as well. And that that's beautiful because it feels very human to me and very real to me. I want to make you smile. I want to make you happy. I want to bring joy into your life. I want to see you smiling as much as I can. So that's important. All of the anger I hold back is burning up from inside. This person has a little bit of feelings of rage at times. They could struggle with stress or workloads or had a bad day at work. And they don't want to take it out on you. Maybe it's something they have to work on. They have to work on how do I calm myself down before I walk in that door or, or before I see you? How do I release um, energy that I'm holding in inside? So that could be something within themselves that they're working on. Like I just tend to lose it. I, I tend to get um, overheated, overreact, and they know that about themselves. I would like to work together to have stability. I like this. I, I like the stability, the rocks in the beginning. I like the 
sense of building. I like the putting in more time, putting in more effort. So this person obviously wants a more stable relationship and they're working on some other things. They're working on trying to be there for you and they're working on some of their own um, personal, I guess, uh, stresses or things that set them off or their own triggers, I guess, something along those lines. I adore your innocence and that sometimes I feel like you're naive. Maybe they have a ton on their plate and they try to express what's really going on, but it's impossible for you to understand like everything that's going on in their business world or in their um, other areas of their lives. But maybe they like that. They like that they can keep you or protect you from that stress or they are um, trying to make your life easier so that you're, you are happy and you don't have that stress to carry or the burden to carry. Faithful, I know we will find our way back to each other in divine time. For those of you that are struggling with a no contact situation, it could be somebody is thinking of you, check out your no contact collective readings also. But it also could feel like we found each other in this lifetime. But right now it's more, I want to build stability. I am moving in the direction of a commitment. And this person has a promise of love, stress. I'm under so much pressure. They're, they are either holding back things that are very difficult for them. It's, it's, it's almost like they, they want to talk about it, but they don't want to talk about it because then they drag you into it and they get you upset about it. You're very uh, empathic with each other. So sometimes they may not tell you everything that's on their mind only because they don't want you to be worried also. And that's how I feel. So they'll probably share with you when they feel like they need to share and other times they'll keep it inside. Greed, I want it all and I deserve it all. Could be around finances, could be around I'm working so hard and I can't get my arms around everything that I feel like I'm, I want. So they could have their own personal um, stresses along that. But I feel like as far as the connection goes, I feel like the connection is really, really well, you know, that you guys are moving in the direction of, I want to be together and I want to be more stable, but certain people put a lot of pressure on themselves. You could have somebody that's an overachiever or they are a perfectionist in some ways, or they are love their job. They want to achieve at their job. They want to be better at their job. So they put a lot of pressure on themselves. I have a page of swords that came into me as I want to open up more. King of Pentacles, I want to give you more with that king. Six of swords, there's the I want to move on from things that are holding me back from being a better person. The rage, the communicating with you, the holding in my feelings. I do feel like that's something they're very aware of and they're trying hard to work work at being, I'm going to say a better person to be in this connection. I want to communicate more. I want to be there for you. Um, this is coming into me. I, I just want a lot in my life. The person who, you know, wants to make you happy, them happy, um, I have a lot of hopes and dreams. I have my hands on a lot of different things. Uh, somebody like that. So, you know, they're thinking about a lot of different things. They're thinking about a future, what it entails. They're thinking about some hard times. And they're thinking about, you know, at any moment that this can, you know, move forward in, in even faster. <laughs> right now, I feel like you're both falling for each other. You are both um, daydreaming about a future together. So there's a lot of hopes and dreams in this connection. There's incredible hopes and dreams. I do have an empress, even feelings of a family, creating a family for those of you that would love to have a family, for those of you that would love to um, start a family with somebody. But this feeling of even I just love you because you're good for me and you're there for me. So I feel like you have a good catch. I really do. I feel like this person is um, going to step to the plate with promises of love. So I, I'm going in that direction. That's what I want, want to hear. I want to hear the love. I want to see the love. Spirit, what else is it that you have for us today? 
Um, I have your picture on my phone and I look at it all the time. You could be their screensaver or whatever. They're always looking at pictures of you. Um, I can't fight this feeling anymore. If they haven't told you they want a future with you, just expect or anticipate that conversation coming soon. Gorgeous. I'm, unha I'm un unhappy with the way things are right now. That's not with you. I feel like that is in some other areas of their life that they want to... They're not where they want to be either financially or their career or they're working through some things. I don't feel like it's intended towards you. It's just like I've got a lot on my plate. I got to take care of this. Um, but I don't feel like it's in, in feelings intended around you. You know, can you be struggling in another area of your life and falling in love with somebody at the same time? Yes. And that's that's how I feel like this connection is going. I remember you. I know who you are. Soul connection. I remember you from a past life. Gorgeous. I want to make things right between us. I want things to be better. I want things to be, I want to be the best I can be for you. I really feel like somebody is trying really hard to be a good person in all areas of their life. And maybe they've had some rough times or rough, uh, you know, they didn't get a lucky break. And they're fighting through that. They're pushing through that. But I feel like you being in their life is lucky. You being there for them is the best thing that ever happened to them. You will forever be my always. I want forever and always. And I want you to think about the person who is, I like the daydreaming about a future with you. I like this feeling of I am already planning a future with you and I have a promise of love, whether it's a pr proposal, a commitment, next level, but I am always daydreaming and dreaming of a future with you by my side. So I think this person has already decided that they're in it for the long run and I don't feel that they're they're looking back. I, I have no doubt in my mind this person's very much in love with you. And this, this connection is only going to continue. So let's put this out into the universe. And I want you both to grow. I want to thank Spirit for these messages today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, thank you for your kind words and comments. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.